What's good, y'all? I'm back, and I got another video for you guys. I did go with the Boost Mobile Galaxy S3. I'm not gonna lie to you. I did go with that. Let me bring my battery low. I mean, my thing down. But I did go with that over the LG Vault just because I have my Samsung Gear 2, and I needed to. Um, and I got hooked up with this. Um, so that's the reason I have really went with them. And also because of the storage. Now, on board, they do have their differences. I'm not going to lie to you. One thing I like about the LG Volt, that light up home button right there. To me, that's better than the actual... Um, Galaxy S3 one overall. Another thing I like about this better than the S3 is this is a quad core processor. This is a dual core. This is a quad core. So that's another thing. But as you can see, as you as you look at both of these devices, uh, you can see. Um, this is a 720p screen, the Galaxy S3, and this is a QHD screen, which is not HD, but how could I say, it's almost there. That's what kind of HD quality that is. Another thing I like about the LG Volt over the S3 is the battery life, 3000 milliamps. Can't get any better. This phone will not die on you. Hasn't died on me yet. Unless I didn't charge it in about two days. This one is like a 21 something milliamp. Um, another thing. Um, what else I can think of. That I like about the LG Volt a little bit better. Um, I think that's about it. That's, a, that's it. Um, oh, and the customization. You can customize this out of the box uh crazy like crazy to your liking your folders i actually like the way they folders are if i can get a to photo focus in see how the folders are right there this is how the galaxy s3 folders look see how that ebay and amazon is see this is the lg volts folder it's more kind of like stock um I'm trying to think of what else. Um, they both kind of got the same messaging where you can, um, how could I say, where you can customize everything as far as what your message is. You can customize them and um, put backgrounds and wallpapers and everything like that. That's another good thing I like about it. And um, another good thing, well, everything I'd say the truth is kind of equal. This is a 2 megapixel camera, I believe. This is a 1.3 megapixel camera. Let me see if I can pull up both cameras. <clears throat> As you can see on the S3, it is look a little bit more clear. The LG Volts one is a little bit blurry. And the same thing with the camera on the back. Um, sorry to say, guys, if you're looking to take pictures with your LG Volt, pictures will come out decent. Like, let me take a picture. They will come out decent. But you know, it's not it's not a bad it's not bad at all. But on the S3 it's just a little bit more better. Well that picture right there was kinda trash. And plus the light helped it. But to me taking all around full blown pictures, the um like let me see if I turn the light on. 
put the flash on at all times. Let's see what type of picture it'll take. Okay. And that's how that one pops up. So they both, you know, like, as far as taking pictures at night, I'm going with the S3. Um, let me see. Uh, what else? Um, especially if you're taking pictures without flash with your back camera, I'm going with the S3. But they even out price wise. Um, I got both of these phones off eBay. This was actually used, but the seller I got it from is basically like it's brand new. Shout out to that seller. And this was actually new off of eBay. This new off of eBay was $70. This was $130 used. But the seller I, I get it from, they charge $170, I think. Or, yeah, $170 or $180. Still better than a Boost Mobile store. Which is charging, I think, $300 or $250 now for this phone. Um far as, um, what else? Mm, I think that's about it. Basically, everything else is, you know, the same as far as apps, Instagram. Um, everything else to me is evened out with these two phones. So, HD screen. Not HD, but beautiful screen. Um, light on a home button when you get notifications as I showed you guys um this one actually has a notification light on the top I don't know if I got any notifications on here that uh bring it up let's see I guess not um so you still get a notification light um front facing camera S3 one back facing camera s3 still one if you're if you love if you're into cases s3 if you're into cases you're not going to find that many cases for this phone as far as not like you know nice looking cases like this you know or ballistic cases which i do have a video coming for those ballistic cases as well um <clears throat> now i will I'm thinking about keeping this for a backup phone, or I might give it to somebody for Christmas since I haven't even used it that long. So, um, I'm still debating on it. That's why I didn't delete everything off. It might be a backup phone. They both take SD cards, which is the good thing. Sorry about that. They both take SD cards. Um, now, before, when I showed y'all about that thing about the, um, the Sprint Spark, they updated the S3 to have like kind of the same thing. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's spinning up there and it does do the same thing. I'll make another video with a darker um, background, but um, yeah, so. I will be coming to you soon because I still got still have these two unboxings to do for you guys. And I'm gonna be doing those right after this video. I'll holla at y'all later. Peace.